Hey guys, what's up? It's Duck Mick here, and I've got an updated UI video for you all today. Been getting a lot of requests, uh, especially from one of my videos, the 14 Easy Mounts to Farm Guide, uh, about what UI I use, what add-ons I use, what weak auras. Uh, and a while ago I had made a UI video, but it was really focused on setting LVI up, setting the bars up and things like that. So today I'm going to go through my add-ons, my weak auras, and a little bit into LVI. And uh, I'll certainly try not to bore the shit out of you. So jumping into this one, guys, starting off at my add-ons, MPC scan and overlay. Pretty much as it says on this little tooltip there, it adds the patrols for all the rare mobs in WoW to your map. So things like, uh, things like Time Lost Proto... Uh, skull, all that kind of stuff. So if you're a hunter farming rare pets, it's extremely useful. Uh, Tanan jungle rares, things like that. It'll put a circle around you on the mini-map. And basically when you fly over that radius, if a rare spawn is up, be it alive or dead, you'll get a notification for it and it'll put an icon on its head. So really good for locating rares. Atlas Loot, it's like an advanced dungeon journal. It's got all the PvP sets, the tier sets. Uh, it's a lot quicker than the dungeon journal and I really like it. Uh, auctioneer, I use Auctioneer, it basically shows me the market value of items, so if, uh, let's say, Invisibility Pots, for example, were up at their normal price, it'd show that. If they were 25% less than they're normally posted at, it'd show me that. If they are 500% marked up, it would show me that as well, so I'd know not to buy it. Scan Data Histogram, Eye Level Purchase Stat, Standard Deviation, and Fix AH. I have no fucking idea what they use, uh, what they do, and as I said, I only use it for the, the sort of the first reason I talked about in regards to market value. Uh, battle Pet Breed ID. No one's ever asked me about pet battles. There was a time in my life where I enjoyed pet battles, and this was one of the add-ons I used, but uh, we're not going to go there. Uh, big Debuffs. It's been on a lot of my recent videos lately. It's a great add-on in showing uh, how long you've got on Grounding Totem or Iron Bark or Fort Brew. It's, the, uh, it's a big icon that comes up next to your player frames, and I'll show you that when we're in game. Cast Bars is pretty self-explanatory. It's a cast bar. Uh, CC Watcher shows the duration and diminishing returns for all crowd control, so it's really useful. Cross Realm Assist is great if you're needing to, uh, if you're hunting a rare, it's not up on your server, you can use this to skip over to different realms. Uh, it just basically search groups that have auto invite on, and you can just realm hop trying to find a rare. Uh, Alcano's Buff Bars, which is in the uh, right hand sort of top corner of my screen, just shows your buffs and debuffs, so just like the setting of it. Uh, Garrison Mission Manager, this is a really good one, it automatically picks the best team for the highest success chance in a Garrison Mission. Uh, Gladiate SA is, as it says, it's a PvP spell or sound alert, so when someone pops Recklessness, it says Recklessness. Uh, healers Have to Die, I don't know if this still actually works anymore, it used to put an X above healers' heads in uh, Battlegrounds and that, but I haven't PvP'd in a while. Uh, QE Nameplates, this was one that I used when Tidy Plates wasn't working. Tidy Plates fix is now in, so I'm not using it. It was okay, though, but Tidy Plates are still probably better. Uh, Libace 3, Callback Handler, Shared Media. I don't know what they do either, but they're ticked to my UI work, so I, I must have got them a while ago, and they've just stayed there. <clears throat> Uh, Magic Runes. Magic Runes is what I use in my DK to track my uh, my runes, so I really like that one. Uh, Mapster puts a small map in the middle of my screen. Uh, Master Plan just changes your garrison UI, and I'll show you that when we're in game as well. Uh, mature Language Filter Fix. I don't actually know if I still need this anymore. A while ago, uh, the Mature Language Filter kept turning on, and this just always makes sure it's off. Uh, mix scrolling battle text is the combat text I use. I don't use the Blizzard in game one. Uh, I really like this as well. Uh, MSBT is mix scrolling battle text options, so those two are coupled together. Uh, minimap button bag. You'll notice when you download a bunch of add ons that your, uh, your minimap looks like a clusterfuck of smarties. This minimap button bag, it puts them all into one, so it just makes your UI look a lot cleaner. Omen 3 is the threat meter. Uh, great for tanks, obviously. If you're new to tanking and you don't have a threat meter, I suggest you get one. Uh, Omni CC is just another cooldown one, so it shows your duration for all your cooldowns left on things. Um, Outfitter, <clears throat> I really like Outfitter. Um, it's just a, it's a, I like it a lot more than the Blizzard uh, standard one. It's just for me, it, it's smoother, it works quicker, it's easy to make new sets. Um, and you can just change your PvP gear, your challenge mode gear, your raid gear, whatever you want to do. It's just a quicker way to change gear. Uh, again, pet battle crap. Uh, Postal allows you to collect all your mailbox, uh, all your mail items at once. Prat 3.0 is the chat add-on. Uh, it allows you to copy links or copy things from tra uh, chat, which is really good as well. Um, Real ID counter, I just got this because the limit used to be 100. Uh, it's now up to 200, so you can just see how many people you've got on Real ID. 
Uh, resolve status, this is the bar that I use to measure my resolve. You can use a weak aura or this. Uh, I do prefer the resolve status one though, but it's just, again, preference. Uh, RSA is just an announcement mod, so when you do a leg sweep or a, uh, a pummel or a shield barrier or something like that, you can set it to announce in say, party, raid, yell, whatever your preference is. So just for your big cooldown, sometimes it's useful to have. Um, SCADA, SCADA is the damage and healing meter I use. If you're still using recount, um, get the fuck out. Go and get SCADA. SCADA is a lot better than recount. It's a lot more accurate as well. Uh, Stubby. I don't know what stubby is, but it's ticked again. Uh, Swatter is supposed to uh, swat error messages and things like that. Um, tidy plates, this is the, the player frames that I use, so to speak. Um, and it's awesome. The threat plates especially. Uh, for tanks, it'll show you who you've got threat on, who you don't. It'll also track all your debuffs uh, above the target as well. So it's really, really a handy add-on. Um, total gold earned, because I'm a gold whore. I like to see how much gold I've got across all my characters and servers. Uh, weak horrors too. Uh, weak horrors, if you're if you're new or you're trying to improve, um, weak horrors is a, an amazing tool. It certainly helped me out a lot. I'm still improving with it, um, but just trying to manage to make sure you're using your cooldowns, you know, uh, when you should be, or using abilities off CD when you should be. Um, so it's a really good way to track that and try to improve. Trade Skill Manager is an amazing uh, auction tool if you're looking to play the auction house. I've got a video on how to set things up in TSM. Uh, LVI, this is the bones of what my UI is built off. Um, and I love LVI, and I'll go a little bit into that when we get in, uh, in game. Blood Legion cooldown, this is in the bottom right hand side of my screen. It just shows all the cooldowns that are available in your party, uh, like your Iron Barks, your Savage Roars, your Rallying Cries, things like that, so you know what's available to use when shit gets hairy. And DBM is the last one. Now, if you're new to the game and you don't have DBM, get DBM. If you've been playing for a while and you don't have DBM, also get DBM. Um, it's an announcement mod for all the, uh, the five-man groups, the raids, and uh, it is just amazing. Absolutely amazing add-on. So if you don't have it, get it. So jumping into game, guys. Okay, guys, so we're in game. So before I go and attack anything, I'm just going to show you what my weak aura setup looks like for those that care. Uh, so, weak auras wise, I've got a shuffle up time here. I've got a stagger amount. I've got tiger palm time remaining on the target. This red square is if I don't have tiger palm on the target. Elusive brew stacks. Uh, keg smash. Guard, how many charges remaining, how long it's up for. Uh, chai burst or chai wave. Expel harm. Fort brew. Uh, this one up here is when I pop guard, it'll show me the absorb amount remaining on the guard. Down here, you won't be able to see all of it due to the camera, but I have if I pop coin or scabbard, it's up time. Uh, if my weapon procs, so Thunderlord or Blackrock enchant, it'll come up next to my uh, my trinket bar here. This bar here is the resolve uh, status meter I was talking about. Now, whether you want to use a weak or a bar is completely up to you. Where it says OK here, this will uh, this actually shows the damage when I'm running soul capacitor that is stored. The blue bar there is the time remaining on soul capacitor before the damage gets unleashed. Uh, so it'll just show me how much damage I'm banking up and then whether I need to use it before the mobs die or whatnot, pretty much. Uh, that is about it from a weak aura perspective. Alcano's buff bars, so here's the buffs, here's the debuffs that I was talking about. Uh, Blood Legion cooldown would come up here, but you won't be able to see it because I'm not in a group or a party. Um, this is Skarda's damage and healing. So with recount, you can only have one, but with Skarda, you can have your damage present and healing, um, which again, I just really like Skarda over recount. It's a lot better. Uh, I think that is pretty much it for uh, weak horrors and add-ons in game. This is uh, LVI that I was talking about before. Um, now, I'm not going to go into huge detail with it because my original video is up, but this is how all my anchors are set out, and I do go over that in my first video. Um, it's got amazing customization to it though, guys. It's a really good add-on. A big one that I do always get asked though is how to get the portraits behind the player frames. So I'll do that quickly. Go to unit frames, go to player frame, go to portrait, which is down your drop down. It's the fourth one down. Make sure you hit enable and hit overlay. If you don't have overlay selected when you hit enable, it'll go to the side here on the left. If you hit overlay, it'll go underneath the player frame and you can use the camera distance to adjust how far the head is up on the frame. Uh, and it's the same for target frame, guys. So, attacking something now to show you how my weak auras as such work. Um, so, you can see cell capacitor has gone off straight away. Here's the damage that I'm banking up at the moment. And there's the countdown on the timer. So, I can either use my macro to expel it or I can let it run out and then the damage goes off. Um, I've got a keg smash here that I was talking about before. You can see on cooldown, my uh, EB procs. Uh, if I pop a guard, you'll see the absorb mount there. How long's left on the guard. Uh, my shuffle up time. 
Uh, now, one other one that I said I'd show you is the big debuff. So if I go ahead and pop Fort Brew, you'll see this big icon comes up next to my screen here. It goes the same with Iron Bark um, and any other big cooldowns, Grounding Totem, things like that. So it is really useful just for getting in your face and showing you how much time you've got left. Um, and I think that is pretty much everything, guys. Now I'm going to head off to my garrison. I'm just going to quickly show you uh, just before the end of the video what that master plan UI looks like uh, and the garrison mission manager. So uh, yeah, let's head to my garrison. Okay, so I'm back in my garrison and I'm just going to quickly show you what these look like. So this is what your UI will look like. I've got the LV UI set for it at the moment, but uh, it'll look like this in regards to the master plan changing it. So 100%, 100%, I'll show you your mission uh, success chances. So you'll click that, it'll assemble the party automatically for you and you can just hit start mission. And it works exactly the same for the, uh, for the shipyard. So just a quicker way to get through your garrison uh, daily crap and whatnot and uh, just makes it a lot less painless. So that's it guys, thanks very much for checking out the video. Hopefully I answered everything uh, and included everything in it. If I didn't, please let me know and I'll do my best to give you the answer in regards to whatever I'm using in game. And uh, once again, thanks very much for checking out the video. I'll see you all next time. See ya.